everyone, this is Dr. David at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy, and I'm gonna to talk to you all today about crepitus. Crepitus is that crunchy sensation or sound that you might hear in someone's joints. A uh, common one is the knee. Sometimes it actually happens in the spine, like in the neck or the back, hip joints, shoulder joints. Um, and I have a, a kind of gruesome example for you guys. Turn up your sound, make sure that uh, you can hear this. Warning, um, if you are easily grossed out by the body, this is one of the times where you might want to change the video or um, pause it or fast forward it or something. No, you can't see anything, you can just hear some really serious crepitus. So check it, it out. Sounds really bad. Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt at all. It's just the noise that bothers you. Gross, huh? Uh, this is my friend Edith. Um, she, she's here at the gym where I'm at. And um, surprisingly, this is not painful for her. Um, it's so weird. But I just wanted to explain to you guys how, how this works, why she's getting that noise inside of her knee. So I have a, a skeleton here. This is a knee. Here's the foot down here. and There's the knee. And with the way that what's going on in her likely is that this kneecap here, it should be moving up and down on this surface right here. Whenever her, her knee bends and straightens out, that kneecap, it shouldn't go with it like that. It should kind of stay right where my, where my finger's at. But as it slides, as you can see here, the, where the bones make contact, there's cartilage between those two surfaces. There's cartilage on the, on the kneecap, and then there's cartilage on the thigh bone as well. And that smooth cartilage should allow for some noiseless movement, some frictionless movement or low friction movement. Um, but what likely has happened in someone with some really bad crunchiness in their knee, the crepitus, is they've been wearing it down inappropriately. So this kneecap has the ability to, to move over to the sides and they've been wearing it down on one edge way more than they should. And instead of it being nice and smooth now, it's become kind of rough. And now in physical therapy school, we do cadaver dissections where we, you know, we're cutting into deceased people and we're looking at the insides of joints and you could see the, the, the rough surfaces on the kneecaps and on the, on the um, uh, femur here, the, the thigh bone and on, on this side as well. And you can see the spots. That's why people only get crunchiness in certain ranges of motion because there's just certain spots. Like for example, there'll be a spot right here, but above and below that it's nice and smooth. And when they get to that point in the motion, you hear that crunchiness um, and that's why it happens. Now, if it doesn't hurt, you're lucky, you're, it's awesome for you, um, but it's only a matter to, of time before things might start to bother you. Um, if you get that crunchiness every time, it's not, it's not a movement that you should be reproducing, that you should force yourself to do. I would certainly try to avoid it. It's your body telling you that there's something wrong and there's something you need to do about it. Um, now, cartilage damage, it, it can heal. It can restore itself. Um, does it heal 100%? That's debatable, but it, it should be able to improve at least so that you can do what you want to do and it's not um, getting any worse, getting to the point where you, not, you get some arthritis or some sort of debilitating pain, pain that comes on when you're walking or exercising. Um, but you have to be doing the right things. And what I was explaining to Edith is that cartilage is a load-bearing structure. It's designed to take forces, especially at the knee. And when you put the wrong kinds of forces on cartilage, it responds in a negative way. Um, and when you put the right kinds of forces, it'll actually thicken and develop nicely so that you can put more and more forces on it. It's kind of like a callus. Like I've got callus on my hands right there. You can kind of see them. Um, that's an adaptation because I lift weights and the, my skin has thickened there so that when I go to lift weights again, it can better handle the weight that I'm putting on there. But if my skin didn't do that, then eventually my skin would tear. And if I put way too much force on this part of my hand way too fast, it'll tear as well. I get a blister and then it might pop open and bleed depending on how bad it is. I know some of you people have been there. But anyways, um, what's going on at the knee there is it's, it's some inappropriate forces too much that's happened and, and it has a negative adaptation. Instead of getting nice and thick and staying smooth so that she can take those forces, now it's become rough and it's noisy and she's on the path to some sort of bad problem later on down the line. But I'm not gonna let her, I'm gonna make sure that she knows what to do. 
Um, so that's why people get crepitus. It's the early signs of something more serious happening. If you have this, please talk to us. You can instant message us. You can uh, comment below if you want to know a little bit more. Um, you're welcome to call us um, at El Paso Mayo Physical Therapy and set up a screening or set up an appointment if you want to get started on, on therapy and, and get educated on how to take care of this so that you never have to stop exercising, so that you never have to miss uh, a period of time walking or miss work or, or stop any part of your life. We want to have you continue and, and never stop, and never miss a beat. Thank you so much, guys. This is Dr. David at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy. Have a wonderful day.